What's up, PJ here. Welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm going to play some more Ace Attorney. Now, last time, um, Edgeworth screwed up. This is him as never thought I'd say. Well, let's go, let's go. February 20, 23rd, 2.15 p.m. Right in Code Law Offices. Uh, um, Mr. Wright, so? What's going on with the case anyway? I'm a little confused. Huh? Well, um, let's see. What is going on? The victim did it Bruce Goodman was stabbed to death at 5 p.m. on the 21st. He died in the prosecutor's parking lot and the police department's evidence room. Was this and the evidence room part? The prosecutor's office said the police department at 30 minutes apart by car. Okay. Well, that's what we're, that's what we're gonna find out. Or try to, at least. Alright, let's do it. Now she's good in spirits, but I'm not sure she's going to be much help with this. <laughs> Don't be so sure, mister, right? Huh? Look, we're in this together, right? I'll prove that with these thick rimmed glasses my uh, aunt just for show. Let's go. Science awaits us. How could she know what I was thinking, though? February 23rd, prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. <clears throat> no, I, I really don't think we should worry about the police department's murder. There wasn't even a body found there. Who cares? Yeah, it was only our victim was, ki was killed in the evidence room, no biggie. Besides, my sister would never do such a thing. I know it. The oil drum. Was it empty? Is that, is that me? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. My sister, erasing, erasing the evidence at the, at the crime scene. Never. Even though she said that they, they don't they don't get along, Emma really likes her sister. That's not it at all. It's just we're both professionals at what we do, and I trust her. Big words for a high school student. <laughs> well, whether there's blood on the floor or not, the boy in the oil jump washed it away. <laughs> Ignore the strength of science at your own peril, Mr. Wright. Huh? What's that grin for? The situation calls for one thing, and that is... What's that? No, no, no. Testing fluid. Lemuel? Blood is, is sticky stuff, you know. You just can't wash it away with, with low water. Even if you can't see it, it's still there. But wouldn't the police have already done those tests? Never trust anyone's eyes with your own, Mr. Right? Just give it a try. Me? Well, I have to do it. I'm a minor. I can't even drink yet. <laughs> well, in real life, I can, guys, because I'm 22. We're testing bloodstains with the stuff, not drinking it. <laughs> Here, look. I'll, le I'll lend you these glasses. Huh? You have an extra pair of those things? Test the blood reaction to spray the lumen on it. Like this, see? Press the X button to spray it, uh, spray it on. Okay, let's find us some blood stains. Just so you know guys, I don't drink because I just don't. Because I just don't really feel like it at all. Hey, is that, is that blood there? Hey, it is. I'm gonna examine it. I can't... See her eyes shining behind us. I can. Oh, I can. Sorry, yeah, I can. Need to read. <laughs> I can't read. I'm kidding. I can. I can see her eyes shining behind those glasses. So is that a blood stain? Uh, I. It's so. Uh. Anyway, you're shaking. It's just this is my first time seeing real blood. Really? Scientific so investigation in action. Okay, we will definitely know that that's a blood stain. But does something strike at you as odd? Scientifically speaking, of course. What's odd about this, scientifically? Um, I'm gonna say the amount of blood. The the is it was that? 
The Herb Trader. The what? Herb Trader. And Detective Goodwin fought here, right? Do you think there's a little more blood? There'll be a little more blood? I definitely think so. I mean, look at all the blood on the sole of the victim's shoe. It is pretty strange. If they fought here, there'd be, have to be more blood than this. Uh, hey, Mr. Wright. I'm gonna mark up the floor plans where we find a blood stain, okay? See, I'm pretty handy to have around, alright? Uh, yeah, and this stuff's pretty handy too. This stuff is pretty handy too. I saved up my allowance to buy that. Nice. We can't be sure that the police will ever reveal their evidence in court. Sometimes they fail to mention the evidence that we don't fit with the, the view of the case. Then, then let's drag that hidden evidence out of the light of day. Is that, is that until I have day? Oops. <laughs> it feels like we're really investigating a crime now, doesn't it? Guess I should have. I should have give this spray a, a anything suspicious. Is it you? It's me as well. Ha. Huh. Oh, it's, it's her. I wonder how. I wonder how that thought of yours would react to a, a nice deli box, Miss Star. You only trust your eye, eyes. Hmm. Not bad, you two. That looks nice, actually. The rice looks nice. <laughs> this, this day old deli box is, is on the house. Sorry, it's just, it's just a kind to lead in that doesn't really get my mouth watering. I'm gonna... let's see, I'm going to talk to her about today's trial. You certainly put me in a tight spot today. My apologies, Mr. Star, but... No, it's, no, no, it's okay. It was my fault. Oh, we know. I witnessed everything from the security room right here. But I was afraid that it wouldn't sound convincing enough, you see. I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. Sorry? You lied to the witness stand. That's unforgivable. Little girl, don't forget what's important here. Even if I play, even even if the face I witnessed to the events was a different, I still saw what I saw. I saw Chief Prosecutor Sky stab a man in cold blood, and testimony still stands. Ah, I swear on 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 on, on as a detective, she stabbed Goodwin. I know this photograph has something important to tell us, but what? I'm gonna ask you about Detective Star. So, you were a detective, weren't you, Mr. Star? Yes. It was a long time ago. Well, two years ago. No matter how hard and, how hard and the criminal they, they were faced they, 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 when they faced me. They coughed it up. Coughed it up? They confessed. They babbled like babies. <laughs> you know? I may, I may seem like a demon sometimes, but I can be an angel too. Well, her name is Angel. I wouldn't doubt it. Every day I dragged the dirt out of the, out of the mouths of the suspect, uh, suspect after suspect. And before long, they called me. The Cough Up Queen. Oh, and here I, I thought someone had gotten food poisoning from, the, from your lunches. <laughs> and you were... Let go, uh, fired. I feel I had, I found my dream job and became an investigator. And if those prim and proper prosecutors hadn't let me go, I'd still be one today. Is that all because, is, is all because of the case, the SL9 incident? SL9? Wait, does she mean... I'm going to have to send uh, Goodman's uh, note to her uh, about, uh, the, about the SLNI, so let's go. 
Um, what do you think about this? This L9 incident. It's written on the night on that knife. And I know that and, and on that note. Goodman? Goodman was uh a head detective on a case, you know. Really? Then life was evidence from the case, the murder weapon. It was due for transfer of the very day that Goodman was killed. And as I suspected. SL9 is in Nova. Not yet. Do you think you could tell us more about the SL9 incident? I'm gonna present the Goodman's idea because if you think about it, how did she know all of this? So I'm gonna present her, her um, Goodman's idea to her. I had one of those until two years ago, back when you went back when you, when you were the cop queen, right? You found this ID card here in the parking lot. Well, there's no mistake in that. It's definitely Goodman's, but it's the same idea of the man that was killed in the police department. That's impossible. I wish I could be so sure. Let's give her the crime photo. You guys will see why. If you think about it, I could have taken the picture from the from the guard room, but even I get I get, I get flustered sometimes. So you were straight you went straight to the scene of the crime. I rushed towards the chain link fence in an effort to stop the murderer. That's when I took the I took this photo. Yes. In other words, five minutes after the crime. Those five minutes were on the were the whole problem. The whole of my testimony, as it were. The five minutes were the problem, Mister. You lying, you lying was the problem. Listen, little girl. I have my testimony dis this is that disregarded. Yeah. Before. Sorry. Sorry. Discarded before. Disregarded. Disregarded. Whatever, you know what I mean. And I wasn't going to have it disregarded again. Just like that time. That time? Let's talk to her again and ask her about the SL9 incident. That incident really opened up my eyes to the truth. We're nothing to them. Disposable. Disposable? To who? Two years ago, it was the biggest case I ever handled. The police and the prosecutors were desperate for decisive bit of evidence. So they didn't solve it. On the contrary, it was solved quite clearly. The criminal was caught and executed. Executed? Yes, the criminal got what he was coming to him. It didn't get any, cl any cleaner than that. The other problem was, they never did find the decisive evidence, not a shed. Is that shed or shred? Shred. Shred. Oh, okay, I thought it was a shed. Um, what well, for the criminal was executed, right? On the basis of, basis, basis of evidence of sort, made up, made up evidence. What? You mean they executed someone with fabricated evidence? The best part, part came several months after the trial. Every detective involved with the case was dealt with. Some were demoted to patrolmen, others found themselves out of a job. <clears throat> and you were one of those. Myself and the other person you know well. Wait, could it be... Is it Gumshoe? Exactly, Detective Jake Marshall. Oops, I mean, police department security detail Officer, Jake Marshall. I'm going to ask her, ask her about him. A special detective was investigating that case from every angle. She was partially determined. And then it was over. And he was demoted. However, he hasn't forgotten, neither have I. You haven't forgotten SL09? Sorry, SL9? Why do I say R? I don't know why. Um, 
there is another side to the case, a hidden side. That's where that's what we're after now. And no one up to fancy offices can stop us. Wait. Those lunches you sell. There are only one reason that I can sell my lunches in this accursed office. I come here to meet my old friends. My friends that can help me investigate. In my case, they'll be girlfriends, but it doesn't matter. Because she's a girl, but you know, so you know what I mean. Miss Star told all my friends, how many does she have anyway? <laughs> Just when all the detectives are SR9 have just disappeared, we find new evidence. There has been a, a connection. So, rookie. What? It seems like you're serious about the investigation this investigating this case. Yes. That doesn't look good. <laughs> then you should take this. But I told you, it doesn't look good. A... what's that? Salsaberry. Steak lunch. I know a certain guy who might help you if you tempt him with this treat. Ah, oh, so it's not for me. Okay. Um, Mr. Oh, Mr. Marshall, is he your... um, are you his... Are you... G g going out? What do you want to know? I was just wondering, what happened to him? A long time ago, when he was helping my sister do the case, he was so nice. He got along so well with my sister and he made me jealous. <laughs> and, it, and he was nice to me too back then. This would be an officer Marshall was a detective. But now, he's now he's so cold. Jake and I are really cooperating in this investigation. We're putting the past at rest, at rest as it were. Nothing more than that. Uh, I see. Thank you. I was to Jake Marshall, hmm? Okay. It's time to head off to the, um, let's see. Yeah. I, I think, hang on, hang on a second, guys. Maybe we're at 23, the police department entrance. It's even busier here today than it was yesterday. The detectives are running around so fast they're blurring. I suppose it makes sense. I said they've got killed in here after all. So the evidence room, the scene of the crime. According to this to the pamphlet we got at the front desk. Here it is. She's like a kid in an amusement park. <laughs> oh, a real crime scene. Let's go take a look. Okay, I'm going to move to the guard station. Area 23rd, evidence room, entrance, guard station. What's just the, what's just the decor of this, this place? It's very... It's it? What? It's entry. According to the pamphlet, this guard station f for the evidence room. So beyond that door is the evidence room, the scene of the crime. It, seem, it sure seems that way. Oh, oh! What's wrong? It's those cacti, they're so prickly, it's imposing, it's hard to think straight. If you can't handle the cacti, stay out of the desert. <laughs> um, well, what I want to know is, if the guard station, where's the guard? I have a feeling I know who he is already. Okay, I'm going to examine the door. The industry is beyond the door, is beyond that door. Let's just walk in. It won't open. You thought it would be open? I think we need someone's permission to go in there first. Okay. I'm gonna move back, back out to the police department's entrance. Already read this. This place has changed with, fr with frantic energy as always. Is that me or you? It's you. You reckon it's me? Yeah. But folks, you're hardly reading any in this. Please. Huh? What's the what, what wasn't that? Oh! Wanna say lunch, please? It's, and, and it's you. Did it come true? Now that's no time for chit-chat, pal. I'm a busy man. What I really need is a steak lunch from Lunchland. Oh, you mean one of these? Actually, it's not for sale. <laughs> I think you just heard the sound of his heart breaking. 
There's no time for despair. You called the criminal, now I just need the evidence. The criminal? You mean... You heard about the stabbing of the police from my evidence room, right pal? Epic flashback! On the same day that the detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed in the police department. In the prosecutor's do you have a suspect? That's me as well, yeah. Well, there was a, there was a suspect, just arrested them, in fact. It's the biggest scandal to the station in ages. Everything's topsy turvy. What did you say to Gumshoe? Was that. Oh, 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 hang on. Yeah. Listen, pal. All I know is I need a state lunch pronto. Standing around here talking isn't going to fill my belly. <laughs> totally relatable. But that is to any food to me. Wait, don't, don't leave. If you want to know more, head, up, head down to the detention centre, pal. Question, questioning should be over, so I figure he's down to having a, having a good cry. <laughs> Later. He ran off in the evidence, to the evidence room. Well, this investigating is off to a run, runny start. Hang on, move back to the... Um, let's see, I think the... Um, hang on. Time to head to the detention center. So you can go to the detention center. Visitor's room. Still, I do feel uh, I do feel better about things a little. I mean, they called the person who said to have Goodman, didn't they? Uh, yeah, I guess they did. Best not to go too far that too far down that road right now. Things will get confusing. Okay. What was that? Is that you? Me as well? Oh my goodness. Sir, that's what I'm saying. Me, a... Okay. Uh, I, I say I was the... I can't, I can't even pronounce it. I can't pronounce it. Perpetrated. Again, sir. That's what I'll say. Oh yeah, yeah that's me. Ah, oh, oh, hi. Greetings, sir. Wait, I know who you are. Excuse me, but this is Mr. Edgeworth's uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, and I requested the chief, sir. I got your report, sir. Officer Meekins, you're the guy at the detention center? No, sir. No, I'm not, sir. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lost patrolman. L like a little lost name, sir. Oh, I get it. You're here to deliver a report. A report. No, sir. Uh, how should I say this? Wait, he isn't... Is he? You, Officer Meekins, you didn't, did you? Uh... Oh, goodness. How should I offer me this again? Before you, sir. What? What? Did he kill him? Now it's an unexpected turn of events. I'm going to uh, talk to him about the day of the crime. Sir, I'm showing with Central Affairs, sir. Sir? <laughs> Ow, I can, hear, I, I can hear you fine, Officer Meekins. <laughs> I had some business that day, sir. So I went down to the evidence room, sir. The gas station was in front of the room, it was empty, sir. Why does he keep saying, sir? It's annoying. So normally, that guy in the evidence room... That's right, sir. Because evidence kept, kept, was, is kept in the evidence room, sir. I really, really wish we would stop saying that, sir, because it's getting annoying. Now, now, the security, now the security officer was none other than Officer Marshall. M Marshall? Then, sir, it happened, it happened to, to a glance of a security room monitor. Look at his face now. <laughs> That's where, that's where I when I saw him, sir. A suspicious person in the evidence room. A suspicious person, sir. A suspicious person. What the hell? What the heck is this guy doing? <laughs> so what happened then? After that, sir, I I 
Everything went white. I saw red. I blacked out. Then I came to. I was here in the detention room center. How long were you out? Days? Um, may I ask? What happened to your hand? Sir, there is no... There is no... There was no one to bandage me, sir. So I did it and I could... And so I could wrap it up, sir. A bandage in your hand? Just like Miss... Miss Sky. Yeah, another similarity between this case and one of the prosecutor's office. First things first. Tell us how you, how you, how you hurt your hand. I'm gonna ask you about the victim first. Um, I don't need to read the fry, but the prepper. See, I can't still do it. Traitor. Traitor. Okay. Correct. You, you killed Ted Bruce Goodman in, in his evidence in the evidence room, right? Sir, please don't look at me, look at me with those. Say for you guys, sir. <laughs> I have. I, I. If I had a label on me as a, as a perpetrator, is that it? Finally, or victim, sir. Then label me victim. I. I, um, I would have. I would. Ha I would. But you happen to be in detention and alive, and when and well at and, and well at that. Oh yes. Well, that's that's true, sir. I suppose you could. I suppose you could say that. Did you know Detective Goodman? Well, sir, if I had Leela as a stranger or a to or a total stranger, then I'd say he he leads he leads heavily on total stranger side. So you didn't know him. So I work at a tiny department, devoid of lights or other creature comforts. I don't know any, any detectives. So if you, so if he was a stranger, why did you stab him? Sir, I had no intention of killing him. None, sir. Nor do I have any recollection of killing him, sir. At least someone around here is more confused than I am. <laughs> well, now I'm going to ask him about his bandaged hand. About your hand, did you happen during the course of the crime? Well, you see, sir. I, uh, don't you, th don't you think you should con just confess? But sir, sir, but there's nothing I could do. Nothing you could do? Sir, to tell you the truth, sir, well, it happened. When the detective pointed the knife at me, I just hollered, sir. The next thing I knew, I was unconscious. The next thing you knew, you were, huh? When I, opened, when, I, when I opened my eyes, I was alone in the evidence room, sir, all alone. Alone, because the head of government had disappeared. What? When I looked down, I was gushing blood from my hand, sir. Oh, the shock, oh, the, the sorrow, sir. Can you imagine how I felt? The victim's body disappeared? Hmm, that's some story. I'm gonna present. Let's see. See me. Seems like they can't remember anything. I'm gonna present his his own. Oh no, 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 no not his own. Just the good the goodman's idea, just to jog his memory, because he can't really remember some other stuff. So let's go. Um, do you think you could take a look at this? Hey. That's his turn. That's, that's, that's it. That's it. That's what. My head was a blink until the, this very moment. But sir, I, I now I remember, I remember, sir. You mean you remember what happened? Correct. That card... That card is the cause, the cause of it all. This ID card? Exactly, sir. That, that's exactly it. There's nothing, there's nothing more could be exact, sir. Nothing. I better pry into this a little, a little, a little deeper. Let's talk to him some more, and, to, and to, ask him about the crime details. Can you tell me what you, what you do? Remember? Well, sir, you might say I'm a little lost patrolman. A lost little lamb, if you will. <laughs> I didn't know to Detective Goodman. He was in the evidence room. 
And that's why he, you thought he looked suspicious. So I entered, I, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to show me his ID card. Well, this thing is pretty much by the book so far. That's right, sir. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card? What did he do? That's the thing. Suddenly he pointed, he pointed <laughs> off at knife at me. What? So I assure you, I was flustered as you are right now. So I whooped and leapt at him. Tell you who and pointed a knife at, he, at him? Do you want to others before they do it to you, my father's words, sir? That's close to the golden rule, isn't it, that fox? Yeah. What happened then? Well, my eyes, sir. Everything went white. Then I woke I, I up here. Right. Let's ask him to read the reasons for arrest. So, Officer Meekins, why was that. Why was it that they arrested you? What do you mean, Emma? Well, well, let, let's look at what we know. Now, something he didn't know Detective Goodman. And the victim, whom he, he met at the scene of the crime, didn't show his ID card. In other words, he had no way of knowing if the victim was really the victim. And if, if the body just, just, just disappeared from the evidence room, we don't even know if anyone actually died. That's it, sir. That, that's exactly what I wanted to say. That is, I didn't say something along those lines. <laughs> uh, but, you still, I mean, you still, but you still ended up here. They told me that it had, that it had to be him, sir, or, or on that day at, the, at that time. Teddy Goodman was definitely in the evidence room. That's what they said. But you don't remember the events clearly. No, but the videotape is quite clear. Huh? Videotape? They never mentioned that. From the security camera. The crime, the crime, my crime, the crime, I, sw I, I swore it to stand for that. It's there, it's me. Uh, it's, on, it's on tape. And you wait until now to tell us this? <laughs> I'm really, really sorry, sir. I, I'll hand over my badge. I don't deserve it. No thanks, I have my own. Well, guess we're gonna go check out the crime scene. Well, off to the Police Department Criminal Affairs. February 23, Police Station Criminal Affairs Department. Hey, Mr. Wright. Look who's standing over there, Chief of the uh, Chief of Detective's desk. It's Police Chief Gant. Oh, I'll have to do it again. And you're sure this is all, hmm? You know that you know what it means if there's anything. You let me know. This, you know what this, it means if there's anything missing. Sir, I'm sh I'm sure it's most likely totally perfect. So that's you. Yeah, we checked. All of his drawers, all of his garbage cans, bags, coat pockets, hats, under his seat cushion, behind his computer monitor, inside his special coffee machine. <laughs> I see. Well, if anything does turn up, you call me right away. Deal? Yeah, yes, sir. We'll see how that face again, sir. The chief tattoo is looks a little flustered. Ah, uh, right here, my boy. How, how have you been? How have you been? Swim much? Oh, oh, Chief Guy, reporting for duty, sir. Why are you saluting him, Mr. Wright? <laughs> I'm going to uh, talk to him about Edgeworth. Um, is Edgeworth going to be okay? Oh, Worthy? Oh, you know, the, the, doing a little inquiry. Is that called inquiry? Inquiry. Yeah, community, community with him. Sounds like in... in what is it? Inquisition. Yeah. Yep, yeah, well, they had no end to the trouble of the voice since last year. You mean the incident of God Lake? Do you guys remember that? Doesn't look like. Uh, have, uh, this doesn't look good having a top prosecutor sit on the defendant's seat, does it? 
And G, you've got someone else faggoty in the case. R right, Ryder? Funakama. Oh, do you guys remember him? A legend he was. Done undefeated for the 40 year career. But in the court, when you fixed it, so you caught, caught forging evidence. Well, wait, I didn't, do, I didn't do anything wrong. He did, he did forge evidence. In any case, the prosecutor's office is a bit of a turmoil, you might say. Why did, why, did, why, why are they just about anything to restore their reputation? Now, depending on what the inquiry committee decides, it will be bad for worthy. What? I'm not asking about the evidence room incident. It's, it's downright odd, I tell you. The detective getting killed in the, on, on the turf too, I mean. They're being the prosecutors, I assume. Scientifically speaking, it's impossible. Yes, but it, what's what the evidence is saying? Guru was stabbed in the two locations at the same time. That's what, that's what it says. Where, what evidence is this? No, no, right, ho. I can't uh, give all, all of our secrets just like that. Now, in this particular, well, a little sensitive, it's, it's a little sensitive, but I can't talk about it. Why is this fitting much anyway? You know, one thing I hate most of all is hiding stuff. Secrets. Can't stand it. But you know, it's a full-time job just keeping chief of detectives trap shut. Uh, he's one of, the, one of you were picking on earlier. Ah, huh, you saw that? Whoops. I wonder what the what he wanted with the chief of detectives to do. Well, let's see if we can kindly, well, we can kind of discreetly ask him. I'm going to examine him. Oh, so we get to see that. Uh, what is the chief of police want you to do? Well, I'll sit over there and screw his desk. He wanted me to check it for anything that might be a clue. They took away every last piece of garbage in the trash can. So I think belongs to Detective Goodman is still here. Of course not. Well, except for this. What? You kept something? Sure, why not? It's not important. He didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost iron report. That's only, uh, it's only half complete. A lost iron. Did Cindy Goodman lose something? The day on, on February 21st. Better make a note of that just in case. Cure. We should really get back to investigating the police department crime scene. Well, that's, that's what I'm going to do. If, I'm going to talk to him about the, about, about the permission to enter because last time I went there, it, it couldn't, we couldn't open it because it, we were needing permission from this dude. Actually, I was wondering, could you ask you, ask you a favour? Hmm, well, I never thought the day would come where Ryder asked me for help. I was wondering if you could investigate the evidence room. No, right, huh? Uh, actually, I'm sorry. I didn't need. I didn't. I don't need to investigate after all. Right, uh, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Huh? Heck, if anyone asked me, so can I borrow fifty dollars? I would give him fifty dollars. No problem. Yeah, because I'm rich as hell. <laughs> so go ahead, investigate that room. Up to your heart's content. Knock yourselves out. It goes to show you, we can never know until you ask. And for you, you can borrow this. Uh, hey, that's the Detective's ID card, isn't it? That's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. Yes sir, it's, it's an honour. Now, you just run along and do your best now. Later, folks. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. On, on my um, label. label, doesn't it? 
Just think, a real ID. You seem happy? Yes, sir, because so we won't tell ourselves into the damage room now, sir. I think this place is banned so much this girl. <laughs> Uh, they, they, now we're going to uh, move to first the sleeping department's entrance and then to the guard station. And then we're going to examine the Z door again. Then we're gonna move, yeah, we already read that. We, already read that. we have the IT guard from Chief Gant. Let's just walk in. It won't open. Ah, the card reader is turned off, see? What was the security guard thinking? Hey, partners. Well, well. We're speaking about any the skies go grey. Finally, you have some talking parts. Oh, it's the marshal. Why does that, why does that have to be him? <laughs> What's that? Why does that have to be him before? As you know, sunrise, it's here for us to um, we're here to investigate the crime scene. You know, that time you got from there on your chest, and so they share us about the leaf parts. Yee-haw! <laughs> well, here's the here's the cat word. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what are you standing there for? Get along with the dog, he's the kind of thing to wait. <laughs> Hello, Marshall. 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 Well, we're here, we were wondering if we could ask you some questions. So, okay, I don't know if I got no mind to tell you with you, I'm Braves. You're busy then? Yeah, I say that. <laughs> At least I didn't want to wish to speak with you. Actually, you said you had no, you had no mind to tell with it with us, I'm Braves. I'm gonna, because I'm gonna talk about the gas station. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to end. Have to end it there. I guess the rest of another video. Leave a comment below. Let everyone play some more of this. Because subscribe is somewhere around me. Turn your notifications on so you never miss one of my videos. Um, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, peace and lights out.